Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Site Gorilla, and today we are going to be going over how to add a custom font to your WordPress theme. So you're going to need a couple things before you begin. You of course need your font downloaded or pay for it and download it. You can choose a free font or a paid font, it works the same. And you're going to need uh, access in an FTP client. So make sure you have both of those before you start. And let's begin. So what we're going to do is go to a site called Font Squirrel, and we're going to go to the tab that says Generator. And what we're going to do is we're going to upload the font we want. I have one picked out here called Alex Brush. You can upload the OTF or the TTF. Check mark that you understand and choose Optimal. And that should be downloaded. So I'm going to go next thing you need to do is open wherever that downloaded to mine just opens in downloads and you're going to need to double click it to get the folder out now I've done this a couple times uh, so I'm just gonna use this one and you're gonna go to FileZilla and I go to downloads and then I find my SG web font kit and then I open that and it gives me what I have here. See if I click off it. So you're going to go here and what you need are three files, the WAF, the WAF2 and the style sheet. But what you need to do is if you're starting from your home directory, you need to go into content and then themes and then into your actual theme. And what you do is highlight one, double click it, so it puts it over here. I've already done that, so you just double click. I'll just update it. Double click. And then it's asking me to overwrite. I'll say OK. And the third thing you need to do is now go to that web kit and open your style sheet. There's going to be some generated code for you there. You need to copy it. And then you're going to come and open your uh, customizer. So we're going to go to Appearance, Customize. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And you're going to go down to your additional CSS and paste. So this gives you the very basic code for the font face. Now we do need to fix this code. So basically, it knows what the file is here. So here's the file, Alex Brush, regular web, web font, WAF2. But it doesn't know the path. So we have to give it just the path. Since you're putting it in the root of the theme, you can grab that by going back into your FileZilla or FTP client, highlighting the file you want to grab, opening the menu for it, and copying the URL. So I'm going to paste that URL in a notepad because I don't need all that information. I just need right before the first slash in WordPress. So I'm going to delete that. This is what I need. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to replace everything inside that file with that. Now I need the WAF too. I'm going to go over there and same thing. All I'm doing is basically right clicking on a Mac, you hit control and it opens the window and copy the URL. I'm going to go paste that to the clipboard I'm Going to delete everything before that slash WP content and I'm going to copy and we're going to go back to the site and we are going to replace that. So now your font's been installed, but now you need to actually call your font before you can use it. I'm going to call it handwriting. Hand or writing. So you can call that whatever you want. I'm going to call it handwriting. And we're going to call the font. So I have a little code snippet, so I don't have to type it all out here. But I will show you. So it's this little, little thing called font family. So you can cut, 
you can start typing font and then it'll pull this up, hit family, colon. And then you need the name of the font. So I'm just gonna paste this here so you can see what it is. So you need to grab the name of the font, just the whole thing from right here, the two um, single quotes need to be pulled too. And then you need to put a comma and you need to choose some default uh, web font. So Arial, New Times Roman, Helvetica, you can use any of those here. And then a third. And this is just if someone's site for some reason can't pick it up, you have a couple fallback. Uh, sans serif is an excellent third choice. Semicolon and close the div. So that's going to call the font family. The font family. I am also going to choose to make this font bigger. It's a it's a handwriting font, so it's hard to see if it's small. So I'm going to say font size is 1.5 em, and then I'm going to publish. So now what we need to do is come into the block that we want. I had already put it in earlier, but I'm going to do it again for you. And then you pick up everything that you wrote right before the first dot, come back and add it into the additional CSS class over here. So some of you have this toolbar up here, but um, you need to just go to the advanced part and put in handwriting. And that's only going to work for this one text block. I have it pulled up over here. As you can see, it's pretty normal. So I'm going to do that. And it's just going to change that one text block. And to show you what I mean, I'll add another one later. So now we're going to refresh. There's the cursive script we just uploaded. And if I go and just choose another paragraph and add the paragraph, oops. it doesn't have that font applied. So I'm only ap applying this font to blocks in this video. I'll be shooting another one for how to apply this, the font site wide. Uh, that's usually not a very good idea. They have fonts for different reasons. So I suggest you do it by blocks. Uh, and just to show you again how to do it to the block, come click the block and then in additional CSS, you have to just pick up this bit of whatever you called it. Paste, update. And go refresh. And there it is. I hope you found this video useful. Please smash that like button for me if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to get these videos delivered to your inbox as I do them. And remember, don't let your website drive you bananas.